am the princess. Good day everyone, it's Peachy and welcome back finally to more Mario Party 4. Oh my gosh, have I been saying that so many times in my Mario Party videos, right? Okay, um, welcome to Goomba. What does Goomba say? Um, welcome to Goomba's Greedy Gala. This place is the top, so let me show you around. He's probably like one of those, um, hosts. So hey, I had all the space, see? And I made it to the castle. Pretty high class, no? Do your hot pound and your nose jitter as you lay it all on the line, say. Now who's gonna go first, my ladies? Watch oh yeah, so the ladies are going first and that's good. So alrighty, um for computer players, um we didn't see Donkey Kong yet, so uh, that's why he's here today. Daisy because I miss having Daisy and then Yoshi because well he's the other animal in this game, so that's why we decided to go with the whole princess slash animal crossing kind of thing. <laughs> Because, you know, in Animal Crossing, we should have a casino built in our town. I would totally vote for it. But, you know, this is not the reason why this board is all about that. It's mainly because of the fact that it has cards, you know, diamonds, hearts, and spades, and all that good stuff. So, alrighty then. Goomba's Greedy Gala. Probably one of the worst boards you could ever play in Mario Party 4. Why do we... Why did we, or why am I here playing this game right now? Well, I just figured, you know, what the heck, let's just go and play something I don't like. <laughs> let's just start it off with things ending going bad right now. So anyways, okay, uh, previous episodes, I did uh, Shy Guy's Jungle Jam and I did uh, Boo's Haunted Bash. Um, did okay for both those boards, but unfortunately Waluigi did screw me over, so we will never see him for the remaining of this game. Um, Mario, it's been a while since I was pissed at him, but I think he's finally- my, um, anger for him has calmed down, so I'll probably have him be on the next board, so. Well, but we'll see about that. And then, um, I did write down all the mini games we haven't played. We're still missing, like, two, three, six, nine, eleven- oh, eleven! Eleven mini games, so we still got quite the amount to play. Uh, what else? Of course, I'll be playing as Peach. For those of you who are wondering, I am always Peach, and I will not stop being Peach until I decide not to, okay? My controller is like wrapped up around the GameCube, that's not good. Okay, so I'm on the right side. I noticed that sometimes in the recording you can't see which side I'm on. But yes, I'm on the right side, the blue dory. So that's pretty good. Oh man, has it been a while. So yeah, I disappeared on you all for the month of October. It's mainly because of how busy we've been lately. Uh, by this point in time, we are like four days away from Halloween, so now you know what day this is recorded on. <laughs> I originally had planned to do a Mario, a Mario Party Halloween special, but I don't think I'll be able to do that as planned. I also had other things planned to do on my channel for the for the duration of October, but again, I was not able to do that because I've been so busy trying to do everything else. Yeah, Peach is the winner. I love my blue dory, it's so cool! I wish I could have one in real life. How come Nintendo hasn't made a Nintendo theme part like Universal and stuff like that? I would totally go on those rides. I mean like Jurassic Park, they still have that ride after how many years? Whew. But anyways, yeah, so I've been away and been busy and not only that, I've just been so exhausted that I just did not feel like recording either. And as I think I've mentioned before, I do not like to record when I feel exhausted. I'd be like, oh yeah, and then this happened. You might have noticed it on my videos a few times, right? It's kind of funny how it goes that way though. Okay, so this is the aspect of the game that makes it really, really annoying. Hey, say welcome to the roulette. Where you go, nobody knows. Ahem, if nobody's looking, slip me some coins and I just might get you closer to the star. Notice how he says might. What do you say? You'll pay me to stop it, see? So you can say yes, no, or map, or as I would say is oh, diga in map. <laughs> okay, so you can pay either 5 coins, 10 coins, or 20 coins. Um, I'm not sure about any of you, but the way I've broken it down to uh, being successful in this is um, 20 coins is probably like 99% chance you'll get um, where you need to go. 10 coins is about 55%. And then five coins is probably like only like five or ten percent. So 
Um, I'm gonna chance it and just do 10 coins. You know, it's a 50-50 shot, and I love those odds when it's a 50-50. Start the roulette, so we need to go to pink. And it's kind of funny because you can land on the in-between the... Where there's no colors. I think they're like little star prints right there, but... If you land on that, you can actually... Love in! You can actually, um... Get a 30 or 20 coin bonus, I can't recall. That's why I never like playing this board. It's really, really... Luck. In, in the game, was already luck-based as it is, so... But you know, it's kind of cool. You, the, I think one of the reasons I like it too, or what draws me to it, is the fact that it's got all these flashy lights and all these colors. And um, it's kind of like advertising, like, oh yeah, party, celebrate it, come on. Oh man, I hate it when those computers say no and then they get the bonus for no reason. Oh, see, look, Yoshi didn't have to pay nothing. Here he got over there, the little jerk. But we've got to be careful because Yoshi does have a warp pipe and that didn't, tends to get on my nerves. 3 throw, that's a pretty good game. Then of course you have all the cards and then all the sort of gambling. Yeah, I think um, out of all the Mario parties, this is the only um, this is the only board that actually has, or the only game that actually has like a casino-ish theme board, so that's why I kind of like it. But of course I don't like it because of how hard it is to play it. I've lost a few, a lot of times on this board, so that's why I'm like, let's get this board out of the way right away, right quick. That way we don't have to drone on with it forever and ever. And Yoshi, you're stealing all my baskets, come on. Ah. That kind of sucks. And then DK is going to be stealing it now. Okay. Good. He's a buffoon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 21 Blackjack! So I'll be making reference to all the casino games. We've got Spanish 21, <laughs> Craps, the Roulette, A11 is now 21. Blackjack! Yay! I love when the game does that where you can, um, if you pass second place and then you get first, they um, have their voice acting. There goes Daisy with her Ultra Mushroom. Oh, I really did like that animation from the Mario Golf World Tour video. I remember the part where um, she beat Luigi and then she spun around and all those flowers came and then here she transformed from her um, athletic dress into her original, or this dress right here. As that's cool, I really like that idea. I'm glad they did it. Where the roulette goes, nobody knows. I have a feeling that Daisy's gonna go to the green side. Oh, I guess she got a, t a pink. She did a pink. But that's cheap, Yoshi didn't have to do anything for her. Oh! Said Peach. Oh, she got a Bowser. Now that's bad. Watch, it's gonna be a Koopa Kid who's gonna be like, Give me all your coins, suckers! Oh, wow, it's Bowser himself. I was not expecting that. Don't take my items. Bowser game. Oh, great. Just anything but that stupid Darts of Doom minigame, because I sucked at it last time. I think that's the only one. Well, maybe Fruits of Dune 2 is pretty bad, but it's not as bad as Dark's game. Then we have our two Koopa Kids. Yay! Look at them, just loyal to Bowser. Whatever happened to them? I guess their loyalty died down. Ah! Darts of Dune. Probably the worst minigame to ever play on Bowser. What did it say? How many? Half my coins? Shoot. So that means I can't use my uh, Mega Mushroom on Daisy. <laughs> but yeah, I always fail this mini game all the time. Especially like when Bowser says, I'm gonna take all your coins! And then here I fail it. I'm like, oh crap. 110, not bad. She got what? I don't know what number she hit. It's too hard to tell. Ah, I got zero on something. 55? Yeah, I lost. <laughs> I, yeah, because I never liked this game. And it takes forever, too, because the computer players is just like, Oh, what should I do? I think it's like a rare occasion for them to not even get below um, 70 or something. Because I know they get up to 80, and usually I try to be 80. Of course, I'm never that lucky. And they never hit the bullseye unless you put them on easy. 90. Yeah, see, I'm the, I lost again. But at least this time I didn't get Bullseye or Bowser Eye. Poor Peach. <laughs> oh no, 
open fire, he shoots his scorches. Poor Peach. Burn to a crisp. <laughs> Burnt peaches. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh no, Bowser, you're so evil. We just all love you being the evil one. I have no Percy! Percy. I have no mercy! <laughs> it's kind of funny how people are like, yeah, it's Peach and Bowser, and then Bowser just like takes Peach's coins, and I'm like, okay, and then Bowser willingly says, I have no mercy! Yeah, just let everyone go to the pink side for no cost. This is one kind of reminds me of that one from Mario Party 3, the whole um, gambling room. Guys, was it Game Guys room? That's what it was. <laughs> no guarantee, but I'll try, uh, Goomba says. I'm sure you will. Wow, he went to the red section. Just because he was wearing a red tie, that's why the game sent him over there. But you know, anyway, we played my two favorite boards already, so... The rest of these aren't going to be all that hyping as it should be. Wow, Yoshi really messed that part up. I'm surprised that he did. <laughs> Probably if that was me, um, Yoshi would have swapped with me. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. It's really hard too because you play a dice mini game with Goomba. Then even if you win, you get like 10 coins. Why well, she's using a roll of 10. All 5. But if you lose, then you go back to the start. It's kind of annoying too. Because I'll be like, come on, the star's just right there, and you're going to do this to me? Then there's moments where you're trying to get out, and then here you keep winning that minigame. So this one's got like all the odds up in the air for you. Yeah, see, Yoshi and DK didn't pay Goomba anything, and they got to go to where the star location is. Although technically... <sighs> It's fun to get these, but the only problem is I wish I didn't have teammates to share it with, because then now I have to give them part of my prize. Goal! And this is a hard mini game to win as a three players. Daisy! <laughs> it's pretty funny how it's like all bright and day every time we play this part. I guess all the toads are like, we don't need our umbrella. Wow, DK, just shoot where everyone's going. Ooh, I really hate this minigame. Come on, guys, one more shot. Ah, oh, you idiot. Yes! Okay. Last second, too. That was close. Yeah, Peach is the winner! Oh yeah, I'm gonna take first now. Yay! With DK! Gross! <laughs> oh yeah, this I forgot about this, but this is, was this was DK's um last playable appearance until Mario Party 10. It's strange how that happened, isn't it? What? Did they just say like, oh, people aren't playing as DK no more, so let's just um, change it up by doing somebody else. But that's kind of cool too, because then we made way for um, Koopa Kid, Toad, and Boo to be playable in this game. Yeah, this is the game, uh, what is it, Craps, I think it's called. <laughs> see the way Daisy's like trying to hold on to the ride, it's pretty funny. Just wait until you see Peaches, it's even more cooler. Oh yeah, I saw I did see Peaches on dress animation for that too. Um if she wins her dress expands too. Roll a one. Ah you jerk. Mamma mia! See this is exactly oh my gosh. Stupid Goomba. That's why everyone always wants to stop you, because they want to take your coins for greed, being greedy. And it's really hard to get stars on this. But like I said, it's really nice, but it's hard to play. you just rather avoid it at all costs. 
Well, at least I'm quite the distance away from Yoshi, so I won't get squashed. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! But yeah, did you notice how most of the computer players Goomba just rolled this low number? But then when it came to me, he's like, Oh, B, try to beat my 9! It's kind of like that one battle from Eternal Star, remember with the Baby Bowsers? And then that one Baby Bowser stole my star because I didn't beat him. I was like, jerk. <laughs> stole my star! Mini mushroom. Mini! Oh, it's the princesses against the animals. Reverse -a bomb. I don't think we've ever played Reverse -a bomb either. We haven't played Dungeon Duels? Really? I thought we did. According to my list, like, we didn't, so I guess this is the first time we're seeing this. Help your teammate to clear all the obstacles in this dank dungeon. Control stick to move, A to jump, and B to move a lever. A uh, y and X to rotate a platform, and L and R to fill it up with air. Work with your teammate to escape smoothly, so don't waste your time. This one's pretty fun. It's almost like an optical, optical, obstacle course. So, but you'll see it. I think it's better for the humans to be on the left side and the computers to be on the right. That way you can have an extra boost. See, I messed this up because I didn't know what button I was supposed to button match when I got to this part. Oh, okay, I'm I guess I'm beating Yoshi. Yeah, it's better for the humans to be on the left side than the right side. Unless you're both humans and it's understandable. Wait, Daisy, wait! Yeah, now, the now Yoshi's caught up with us. Then try to beat the computers to the other one over here. Because you want to get like a speed boost right here. This really helps you. Then jump on and then hold up, hope that they don't mess up. It's funny too when you play this on easy, the computers mess up just so easily. Okay, it's the top one. Oh. Daisy! Daisy! Over here, Daisy! Okay. Okay, it's the top right. Or, oh, the one I went in. Daisy! Now this one's kind of tricky because you would just think that you're supposed to um, button mash L and R to get the most air, but you're supposed to go like really slow and but kind of quick about it. But the computers are set on hard so they know how to time it right. Whereas us humans take a while trying to figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you do. I remember the first time I was like going like this with the L and R button. Then I was like, why isn't it filling up? But here, I guess you're supposed to time it slowly. I like how Peach is like spinning and waving and then Daisy's like jumping and waving. Give me my second place, DK. Gonna make sure we stay on top of him because you know how evil he can get. Ooh, Bowser. Dang, Daisy, you're visiting Bowser or the. Uh, you're visiting Bowser quite the amount of times today. Oh, it's Koopa Kid. He's gonna make us all pay. Let's see. But then whenever I land on there and get Koopa Kid, Koopa Kid only charges me. Ten times! That's something you would hear at the casino. <laughs> okay. Warp pipe might actually help. Might. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, nobody knows. What? No guarantee? <laughs> it's kind of funny, he's like, What if you didn't want to pay me? Ah, great. I just want it to go down. Yeah, another Mega Mushroom. Oh yeah, that's right, the Mega Mushroom passes that Goomba space. But it also passes the star, which was kinda annoying too. Cause you know, like in Mario Party 1 through, or 2 and 3, you got so used to using the Golden Mushroom and then the regular Mushroom, and then here they made this item that passes the star. But of course, since the game just loves and favors DK, they were going to give him a low number and give him three coins so he doesn't pass the star and can buy on the next turn. It's kind of funny because when you look on the ground too, it looks like a little Tetris game is going on back there. Back there. 
<laughs> the mini game for this, or the dual mini game for this board, is really hard too. I hate the reverse bomb. Ah, never liked this one too much. Because I can never find out where I am. Okay, let's see. I should be on the top left. Oh, bottom right. Ah, oh, crap. See what I mean? This is like, the game doesn't even tell you like where you're gonna be either. So you better know where you are, because we're not gonna tell you. Move it, Yoshi. Okay, where is it? Dang, I have to go all the way down here just to get it. Watch, Yoshi and DK are gonna win now. Daisy, where are you going? This way. Right here, Daisy. Ah! It's kind of my partner's fault because um, they didn't exactly find the treasure chest. Because um, I found the first one and I had to lead her to the second one. So I did all the work and I didn't get no reward for it. How did I, how did I get fourth? Oh, those guys were winning because they knew I was going to get past DK with my warp pipe. That's why they did that. <laughs> this is gonna shot now. Gotta shot, gotta shot. Why is she buying that? Maybe she knows she's gonna lose against Goomba. Wook. See all the little dice symbols? That's pretty cool. Does any, do any of you know that whole um thing with the dice where they say the bear surrounds the hole? And then they roll the number. So like, let's say if you roll a 5 and a 1. You have to count how many bears there are or something like that. So then they say like, the bear, the bear surrounds the hole. So you would obviously say like, oh, it's four. Then if you roll like a, um, a three, four, and six, um, you have to look about how many, look at the dice and see how many, um, bears are there are and you say, oh, it's two. I remember when, um, my teacher was explaining that to us, I go, oh, okay, I see it now. It just made sense after a while. Oh, um, this was so cool when I won that 100 that last time, but I don't think that'll ever happen again when I'm playing this. I'll probably just get bad luck for the rest of the game. The house wins! Shut up! <laughs> I don't give a damn what you think. Yeah! Yeah, let DK get the first star. He just deserved it for all his hard work. All the cards aren't even... Uh, a shape, they're just the shadow form of Goomba. I actually never knew that. Well, that was interesting. Time to change the odds. The next one is over here. Why would they put it over there? It's really ridiculous how the star goes. This one is almost like um, Waluigi's Island. Because, you know, except for the fact that the Goomba charges you to try and slow down the roulette instead of giving you the option of where to go. So this one I usually try to rely on magic lamps. Oh great, Bowser again! This time it's gonna be Koopa Kid who's gonna say, I'm gonna take 30 from you all! Seconds! Oh good, just Yoshi. Yeah, doom the computer players, they're always cheating me. Oh, we almost got hide and go boom. I'm surprised we never got that. That's a really fun mini game, even though it's luck based. This mini game. Oh yeah, this is the mini game we played after Waluigi did that um horrible fortune space. I was so mad about it, <laughs> and I didn't even know I was gonna win it. Oh, I hate when I'm the first person, because you know it doesn't give you time to react. And then Yoshi's gonna win. Yeah, usually the single player always wins this mini game. Cause they're just so fast at pressing the button, where we have to watch time it, or else we're gonna fail. I don't think this game has ever ended in a draw before. Oh hey, we won! 
Yeah, usually we lose that when they're team player. Yeah, the winner. Look at DK, he's trying to be like the superiority against the princesses. Anyways, DK. Yahoo! I guess DK since he since I guess since DK thinks he's got the star, he's like, I'm the one that's holding the team together. The fun, the fun begins when someone calls me. Hey DK, the boo's after you. <laughs> I like how DK's like, rawr, rawr, the way he sounded. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny too, because like, boo will be like, I only stole this much, I'm done for. <laughs> AKA, he knows he's going to become unemployed if he can't steal better. The burglar's way of life. Oh my goodness, are you serious? It's like, come on game, you're not even working in my favor and... Oh jeez, this was a bad idea to play this board today. Here, I was like, you know, let's just get it over with. Now nah, I'm glad. <sighs> oh, take 10 from everyone. Oh good. It's about time they punish the computers. Guess I'll have to switch with DK or Yoshi to get out of this mess. Oh great, they put me with the monkey. The Great Deflate. Yay! That was a pretty fun minigame, I actually love that one. Halloween. I actually have no plans. The only thing I'm doing on Halloween is actually working, so... Oh, and eating all the candy for free. Give me my candy! All the lifesavers I can eat. just have this like weird craving to watch Willy Wonka on Halloween, right? DK, you're supposed to be in sync! See, he's trying to- he thinks just because he's in first, he's the leader. Yeah, Peach is the winner! <laughs> Why do you get to be first? Because I'm the one with the star! You're not the one with the star. You're just nothing but an ape. <laughs>